You know, I was born like pink and white, bro. <laughs> nah, for real. If I wasn't pink, I was white. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It was like when I came out, you know what I'm saying? My granddaddy was just like, yeah, that's white boy. Talk my shit, nigga. I'm on about shit, nigga. You ain't getting money, and I'm knowing it. And I'm knowing yeah, I got the key like locksmith, nigga. Trap on my flip, nigga. I ain't in a way. I'm focused. For anybody that want to do music, you can't be in the streets with it. It ain't going to work. You gotta be all the way in one of you. Gonna be music in the streets, you gotta name. be in the streets. If you're gonna yeah. be in the booth, you gotta be in the booth. You gotta yeah. pretty much pick one. So it's like you gotta break the cycle. As soon as you get out and you do what you do, you know what I'm saying? They let a nigga out on probation and stuff. They know a nigga's predicament. They tell me I can't move out of Kentucky yet, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm going through, so what I gotta keep the gun on me? I gotta watch my back area where I go, which I'm supposed to be focused, but. NBA Young Boys music. NBA. That nigga music got me through my whole bid, bro. Right. I felt like it ain't too long was made about me. That whole little mixtape album, EP, whatever it was. Related to it. I know every song right now by heart. You know, I don't really remember nigga songs, but yeah, NBA Young Boys music. Music I can relate to. If I can't relate to it, don't even try to get me to play it. I was snatching purses. I was going in teachers. Shit, I needed money. You know, I yeah. was smoking weed at 11 and 10. So, you know, you get on that weed, it's a whole nother thing. You like, I mean, I need that. Yeah, so, nigga, I, I'm taking phones. I'll let, you know, I'm taking niggas. I'm, I, I wasn't a skip school type person, though. I was a class clown. It was like, yeah. that's where all the females was at. You wanted to be in that. Man, I love action. being around me some bitches, bro. Yeah. For real. So, I'm going. <laughs> Nigga, I'm gonna be at y'all lunch break and it ain't even mine. I'm supposed to be in social studies or something, you feel me? So you was at school, you just, your mind wasn't at school. But I graduated, though. No. Nope. You made it through the race. You made it through the race. I was around my pops, you know. I was around my pops just a little bit. Yeah. In and out of my life. He make excuses like my mama kept me away from him. Yeah. My mama tell me that he don't want us. Shit like that, you know, he wasn't doing it, you know what I'm saying? But if yeah. you want us, can't nobody keep you from your kid. You know. But I don't judge him, though. I don't judge nobody, so, you know what I'm saying? That's you maybe felt so young to where you couldn't even take on three, four kids, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. feel me, your son's already in the street. Yeah. What can you do? I'm already grown. I kind of felt the same way. Like, I don't really blame my pops. He, bro had eight kids, all different women. So, bro ain't third. Can't really blame him, you feel me? I lived with my pops about two years, though. It was fun. He was more my nigga, more my brother than my pops. Yeah, same, same. I go all the way through, but, you know, I, um, I like one taking. Yeah. I be feeling like I'm the perfectest nigga in the studio. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no punch me in. I'm ready to do it and get it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That's it. Nope. When, when I hear them beats, though, I be already in my man. I'm about to fuck this beat up, you know? We was locked up in JCYC down of, you know? Matter of fact, I was in the court hold over with him. This nigga's mad at his moms and shit. And the nigga <laughs> punched the toilet and broke his hand. Yeah, I'm like, bro, up. it's going to be good, you know what I'm saying? And um, he's, you know, he's like on some shit like, man... Shit's fucked up right now. I could relate. You know, they wasn't trying to let a nigga go home. So, turn out, we get back on the same unit. He come in with his mattress and his hygiene. We was both the aggressivest niggas on, on the unit. Yeah, so it was just... It was like, damn, you know what I'm saying? You know, niggas, you know, you can't put... It's like putting two lines in a pack. Who's going to be king? And it wasn't like that with me and him. I just want to make my fans happy, you know what I'm saying? I just want to tell my story. That's all I want to do. I don't, you know what I'm saying? I ain't finna tell y'all nothing I don't know yet. I'm just going to go with the flow until shit start bubbling for me. Take your shit one day at a time. But I got good music. Y'all know, you know what I'm saying? I know, and I make my music for me, so I really, you know what I'm saying? It's for me at the end of the day, so. But I know I got quality music. People can vent, people can relate. You know, I speak on reality.
You know what I'm saying? So there ain't going to be no problem with me getting a fan base messing with me, you know what I'm saying? Liking my music, helping me, you know what I'm saying, become the person I'm, I'm trying to be. But, you know, other than that, though, y'all just going to have to get with me, you know what I'm saying? I like the network, so no telling where I should be at in the next couple months. I'm from the East End part of Louisville. We the only East End that's in the trenches, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it was certain floors, no cap, that I couldn't even go on, you know what I'm saying? I walked down them floors, and this nigga's I'm talking about 40 to 50 men dorms, you know what I'm saying? They in her. Man, come in her, you know what I'm saying? Mm. It's going to get tragic, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but it's so like. officers wouldn't even try to put you on that dorm type shit. I mean, shit, I done went in a couple of them, and it was what it was, but. Me thinking smart, I ain't really let 20, 30 niggas kill me out from a different right, right. neighborhood. Nah, it ain't really be none of that. Right. So, you know, on the sixth floor is where I was at. On the fifth floor is where I was at. On the third floor is where I was at. You know what I'm saying? I was I was in there. I was in there for over a year. You know, niggas know me. They called me therapy in there because my music was great. Mm. I touched people when I was locked up. So people, people, people wanted to hear you even when you were in lockup. People were... People were pretty much fans of your music, even in jail. Yeah, bro. Like, I'd get on the window, hit a beat, you know what I'm saying, and get to spitting. And they was going to listen. Man, they listening, bro. Word. 20, 30 deep in one little bitty ass part of the room That's in the crazy. cell, you know what I'm saying? They all sitting back. That's a crazy. nigga get off the phone arguing with his bitch, you know what I'm saying? Secure as cows be. Yeah. You know, man, white boy, I need you. So I'm like, they're like, man, you should make a song for every single occasion. Yeah. Like how Boosie do? No, that nigga make music about everything, young boy. Them niggas make music. It ain't a song, they ain't got music about everything. So I'm like, man, I gotta do it. I got music put up in storage about any type of thing you can go through in life that I done been through. Cause I don't speak other people's stories.